Hello students, once again, I welcome you to my channel KD Exam Solutions. As you know that your final 12 exam is approaching, I am going to give you the explanations of the chapters which are coming in your second term examination. So here we are going to deal the chapter Glimpses of India. The first part, a baker from Goa. Glimpses of India. It is written by Lucio Rodriguez. A baker from Goa revolves around the relevance of a baker in the Goan culture, which dates back to the time when Portuguese ruled over the city of Goa. The Portuguese may have left, but the bread makers continue to have an inevitable structure. In this story, the author recalls his childhood days and their excitement on seeing the baker. They were enthusiastic to the point that they would run to the him as soon as they woke up without even brushing their teeth. Now let's uh, know something about the author Lucio Rodriguez. He was born in 1916 and he died in 1973. He was a great Konkani essayist. He wrote several articles in English and Konkani to various periodicals and magazines. He served as a visiting professor to folklore at our many universities and also as a professor of English in Mumbai and Goa. His essays were posthumously published under the title of Soil and Soul and Konkani Folk Tales, Subtle Humor and Informal Narration are the essential features of his writings. Now let us see Parawise explanation. As we can see in the book, the first paragraph as it reads, Our elders are often heard reminiscing nostalgically about those good old Portuguese days, the Portuguese and their famous loves of bread. Those eaters of loves might have vanished, but the makers are still there. We still have amongst us the mixers, the molders, and those who bake the loves. Those age-old time-tested furnaces still exist. The fire in the furnaces has not yet been extinguished. The third and the jingle of the traditional baker's bamboo, heralding his arrival in the morning, can still be heard in some places. Maybe the father is not alive, but the son still carries on the family profession. These bakers are even today known as padded in Goa. So what we find here in this paragraph, the story takes us back to the time when Portuguese ruled Goa. They were immensely famous for their breads, and the narrator often finds his elders thinking about those good old days and telling them that the famous breads date back to the time when Portuguese ruled over Goa. They ponder over the past and tell them that though the Portuguese have left Goa, but the bakers of bread still exist. If not the original ones, their legacy is being continued by their sons. The bakers are still being referred to as padders. Everything about baking is still the same, ranging from those who mold the bread loaves to the furnaces which have survived the ravages of time. The sound of their arrival and the thud of their bamboo stick can still be heard just like the older times.
During our childhood in Goa, the baker used to be our friend, companion and guide. He used to come at least twice a day, once when he set out in the morning on his selling round and then again when he returned after emptying his huge basket. The jingling thud of his bamboo woke us up from sleep and we ran to meet and greet him. Why was it so? Was it for the love of love? Not at all. The love, loves were bought by some paskin and bastin, the maid servant of the house. What we longed for were those bread bangles which we chose carefully. Sometimes it was sweet bread of special make. Here you find the narrator recalling his childhood days. He recalls that the baker acted as their friend and companion during their childhood days in Goa. The baker used to visit twice a day, once while he was on the round to sell his loaves, and the other time while returning back with his empty basket. Having sold all the loaves, it was the sound of his bamboo stick that woke the children up. The children were so excited to meet him and chose from the bread bangles or konkan he made especially for them. While the bangles were for children, loves were for the adults that were generally collected by the maid servant of the household. The baker often made a musical entry with his bamboo stick. His one hand supported the basket on his head while the other banged the bamboo on the ground. He would go house to house and greet the ladies before handing them over to the lobs. The parents would scold the children and make them stand aside. But as eager as they were, they would climb a bench or the wall to peep into the basket. They did not even bother to brush their teeth before having those bread bangles because it seemed unnecessary effort for them to pluck mango leaves from the branches to use them for brushing the teeth. They considered brushing unnecessary because the hot tea could effortlessly wash their mouth and they thought that animals like the tiger never brush their teeth. Now bread is an important part of the Goan culture and it is evident from its presence at every important occasion. From sweet breads at marriages to sandwiches at engagement parties and cakes and coconut cookies at Christmas as well as other occasions, make the presence of a baker in every village very, very essential. Bakers were known to have worn unique knee-length frock dresses, typically known as kabai. In the narrator's childhood days, he had seen them wearing shirts and pants whose length was shorter than the usual ones. It was a part of their identity, so much so that if, even if someone wears that trouser length now, he is said to have dressed like a baker or padded, as was said in olden times. The baker had a way of making monthly record of bills on a wall using a pencil and then collecting the money at the end of the month. Baking has always been a profitable profession. The baker's family and workers have always been happy and joyous. The baker was usually fat which was proof that he had a lot of to eat and hence 
was a proof of his richness. Even to this day, someone with a well-built body is compared to a baker. So, here we end the explanation of this chapter. I hope you have understood this chapter. And if it has been helpful to you, then you can also subscribe to this channel. So, see you in the next video.